morning and welcome to Mrs. Bell's Sweet Treats and More. This is my YouTube channel. Today is Monday and this is Monday Moments. We've been uh, taking a look at the 1001 cookie recipe from Domino Sugar and CNH also Sugar also has that recipe. Um, when I uh, found the recipe, this was probably in the 70s, late 70s, early 80s. There were literally uh, dozens of cookie recipes included. However, the newer version only has about, I'm thinking about 20 or so, and otherwise you'd uh, have to purchase a book. So I already made oatmeal cookies without raisins. Uh, I also have my own re uh, recipe, but this one is just to show you the versatility of, the, of this uh, recipe. So I made chocolate chip, crunchy chocolate chip uh, cookies. Uh, baking them shorter will make them softer. I just kind of like that crispy edge uh, on a cookie. Today we are going to make brownies, homemade brownies out of this same uh, uh, recipe. You start with a cookie starter, the uh, link is on the bottom, and then you just add a few ingredients and boom, you have brownies. I wanted to share this with you because it's a versatile recipe. So here we go. I started with two cups of my starter, which I made uh, previously and put in the freezer. And then as I use, uh, want to make something, I just take out what I need because the, uh, the starter can actually last up to six months in the freezer. So to this, I'm going to add, uh, the other thing I did was I sprayed all of my, uh, my spatula and my spoon with uh, Pam or cooking spray because I want all my chocolate to come out and I want all of my ingredients to be well blended and I don't want everything sticking on the spoon. What's up with that, you know, or the spatula? So I'm going to begin with, um, I'm going to put all my things aside. Okay, I'm going to take my, I'm going to take my chocolate. I use a microwavable bowl. I microwave for about 30 seconds and then I stir it and then 30 seconds because I didn't want it too hot. I didn't want to burn it and I didn't want it too hot because then you have to wait for it to, to cool off and then it can get hard again. What's up with that? I sprayed my bowl and I already microwaved it. Uh, you can certainly use the, do it on the stove. Very, very, very low uh, fire. Uh, and I would suggest if you have a, a double boiler or a, a pot with water in it and then put a bowl uh, uh, inside of that and don't let it let, get the water hot and set the bowl inside the water, not, not up to the rim, and then put your chocolate in there so that it'll melt evenly without burning. So I'm going to add, I have two eggs and vanilla, slightly beaded, beaten. And then I'm going to add that to the chocolate. You can certainly add all this together. I'm just doing it to show you what I do. You're not having to do what I do. So here is my chocolate and my egg. And then I'm just going to do a little stir. And then I'm going to just go ahead and pour it into my dough. It's not really dough, huh? It's the starter. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to stir this together. And you can see that it's starting to turn brown. You know, I was kind of uh, iffy about this because of the, um, the chocolate and the dough. But it makes a delicious brownie. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is take my spoon and work this a little more because this really needs some, uh, some work done here. And oh, it smells so, so good. It smells so chocolatey. And you can smell, you know, because last week we added... Um, we have butter in our basic dough. And of course, you don't have to use, 
You can use plant-based if you like. So, all right, so here's our dough. It's gonna be a little lumpy, don't take it personal, okay? This is our dough. This is our brownie. I'm trying to get my edges, make sure the egg is all out and the bottom is nice and incorporated. I'm gonna cook this in a, a eight by eight or nine by nine pan. You can certainly use a cake pan and make it round. You don't have to have a square. I like squares because I get the corners. And I'm gonna add some nuts to this. I'm adding pecans, kind of large because my husband likes them. The recipe um, that's used by um, that I'm following has uh, you splitting the the nuts and using half in and half on top. I don't particularly like nuts on top of my brownies cooking because sometimes the flavor can be different for me, but um, you certainly can do that. So I'm gonna take my pan and I put foil because it's gonna be really sticky. And I want all of that goodness and all of that uh, to come out of the pan. And I also want my crispy edges. I don't want my chewy edges, I'm sorry. Crispy, chewy edges. So this is what it looks like going into the pan. And I have to tell you, it smells so delish. The recipe calls for 12 ounces of chocolate chip. And what the recipe-er did was to save four ounces to, to do the uh, a cup for the brownies. I, you know, sometimes I like frosting on top of my brownies. Sometimes I don't. So I went ahead and just used my here. I'm not going to add any uh, chocolate to the top. Maybe I'll do it for presentation. But um, it's strictly up to you if you want chocolate on the top. And with that, you just melt, um, uh, melt the chocolate chips. And then when you take it out the oven, just spread it on the top. That's if you like that that top topping of chocolate. Um, I'm going to pop this in the oven and it's going to take about 20 minutes. You don't want to overcook it and you certainly don't want to undercook it. It smells so good. So there's my brownies. I'm going to pop them in the oven and I'll be back and show you what we got. Brownies. Well, Took the brownies out the oven and I've already cut them up and been eating the brownies. So what I did was I took them out the oven, I cooked them in the oven on 350 um, and I took them out and let them uh, cool off. And then I decided to go ahead and put some semi-sweet morsels uh, melted on top of it. And this is what we came up with. Mm -hmm. You can see the pecans, I hope, and it is uh, still warm. So I'm waiting for it to, uh, I've already tasted parts of it and it's kind of chewy. So I'm kind of excited. I'm looking forward to eating that, but I, I, together we can do this. This is a cookie recipe, 1001, but it has a, a brownie recipe right in the middle of it. What's that? Uh, it has other uh, recipes. Please click on it uh, and see if there's something that you would like to do. I am excited to share this with you and I look forward to us talking soon. You have a good one. Bye-bye.